Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the new, um, welcome to the new folks, and welcome back to the veterans. So um, many of you already know me. Some of them, some of you may may me not. My name is Jenna, uh, and this is high intensity interval training. So in high intensity interval training, we really like to play with the really, really, really fast movements with a short break right back into the really, really fast movement. So I'm going to challenge you today to really kind of, when you're working, work hard. And that tiny bit of break, try to rest and recover. Um, today's kind of theme of class is a hill climb. So some of us may live on a flat piece of land. Some of us might live on a hill. And some of us might not like walking or running up either one of those. But today, the kind of theme is it's going to be all up front work, lower body, cardio grouped together, like when you're climbing a hill. And then on the downhill, so that's going to be 10 exercises uphill, 45 sec 40 seconds each. And then on the downhill, we're really going to play more with like balance and stability, which because that, that's pretty much when you do that, climb the mountain, you got to come back down and you're challenging your core and your stability. So that's how we're going to mirror class today. Think of it about two laps on a hill. We're going to go 10 exercises up, 12 exercises down and repeat that two times. So that's my little theme of a hill climb. Timing is 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Not a whole lot of chance for transition there. So during our warm up, I'm going to be queuing a little bit more of squat hinge lunge. And then when we get to those 20 exercises that we're kind of quickly changing between, it's going to feel fast the first time around. But we'll get there. So make sure you have room front, back, side to side. And let's start with leg swings, right? The key thing is if you're ever climbing a hill, if you get the chance, you kind of want to lubricate those joints. So let that leg swing, arm swing, start to kind of negotiate it with that single leg stability. Nice team. Other leg, standing right on top of that torso, that foot. Nice leg swing here. Focus on going to your end ranges up and back without kind of tilting too much of the hips. Ah, let it go, let it go. Nice team. When you're ready, take it to a squat, down and up right here. So your squat position, we are looking for knees in line with toes, right? It can be a little bit mid stance. It can be wide, or you can also take it super wide. It just depends on what you're working for. Wider, we'll get more side glutes. More narrow, a little more quads. Play with it. Well, plenty of time during the exercises to do that. Now, from here, let's go ahead and take it to that reverse lunge. Big, beautiful stride back. Most of that weight is on that front foot. Notice how that heel is grounded. In theory, you could almost just tap that toe back, right? Tap it back. Good, warming up that big reverse stride. We're in our sagittal plane here. A couple more, your pace. And then when you're ready, moving on to Frankenstein's. Nice upright hamstring stretch. Just warming up, our usual. Woo! Left foot, not about how high you can go, just that hamstring length. Beautiful, team. Do that about three to four more times. And then we're gonna move laterally. So when you're ready, make sure you have room side to side or adjust. Drop the hips, let's move side to side. Alternating. So on that lateral lunge, it is that hip dropping. Hip dropping back and down. We will see all these movements today on our hill climb. It will be in the first half mostly. That low body core pod. Yeah, hips back, chest up. Nice, nice. And last one. Come feet together. We're going to do a single leg deadlift here. Flex foot. Standing leg relatively straight. Allow that torso to come forward. And then come on up. Same leg. Good. Might be a little topsy turvy because we are warming up. So you can see how the first movements we did, a little bit more core, low body. This one a little bit more stability. Nice. Let that torso drop headlong. 
and other side. Shake it out. Your foot might be like trying to grab on. Shake it out. Other side. Get on top of that foot. Push the hip back. And when you're ready, you can let the arms come forward. So it's really a hip driving back that lowers the torso. See where my finger is? It's like someone's just poking you. Woo! Nice. Warming up to that other side, y'all. Very good. And one more time, your own pace. Then everybody meets together. If you have a mat, you can start at the bottom of the mat. We're going to a squat. You can stay here in a squat pulse or walk it out to a plank inchworm. Walk it on back. Nice. So we're going down and up, hitting that plank. This is the movement we will see, that inchworm. About two more like that. My pulsers keep pulsing. <laughs> and last one. Now everyone on the floor, the people who are pulsing, you have an option to do a bird dog hold or a plank hold. Now, if you want and you don't have anything funky with the wrist, knees float up off the floor, lateral bear crawls. So, little tiny steps, knees floating to off the floor, and the hands and knee foot go together, same side, two by two. Warming up, our bear crawls. And relax. Everyone, come on off the floor. So I purposely put all of those little sprinkles of the warm up in as breadcrumbs because we're going through 22 exercises. Those are going to be some of them. So remember, our hill climb starts with low body, heavy back to back leg movements. Let's start with a squat press. So everyone, grab your weights. I'll start the timer. It's going to be here, palms face the body single or double arm press or no press at all. No weight. We're gonna do mostly low body today. Grab your weights accordingly. It's gonna be like 10 minutes of a low body focus. I have no time. Starting it up. Let's get this sidecar going. In three, two, one, squat to press. Oh, start squat to press. So, 40 second round. Ugh. But remember, it's high intensity interval training. So it's kind of like a sprint. When you go, you go. Kind of going for a quick turnover, but always focusing on that alignment of knee and line with toe. Down and up, use that low body. Beautiful press team, 10 seconds. This is exercise number one of the hill climb. In five seconds, we're going to swings. Three, two, one, deadlift or swings. If you have two light weights, you can deadlift them, center or swing. You can also do that heavy. On your marks, get set, here we go. So it's a hip snap. The hip goes back, hip power, swinging to about shoulder height. You can almost see on me that that was a little too light on my end because it was going up a little past shoulder height. Keep going. Exercise number two of hill climb is low body power, loop power. We will continue all that. Finish it out, five seconds to go, deadlifts or swings. Three, two, one. Reverse lunge curl, two weights. Load it up. Big stride back, curl it up. Up to you, palms face the body or up. Ready, set, here we go, alternate. Big stride back, curl. So step back, bring the foot together. And when you bring that foot together, curl it up. Nice. Woo. Single or double weights here. Alternating legs. 20 seconds to go. The first part of the hill is kind of the stickiest. It just wakes you up. Five seconds, no weights. We're going to the bear crawls. Three, two, one. Those of us who are not using our wrists today, 
in a plank position, squat pulse. Everyone else, two by two, lateral bear crawls. On your marks, get set. Here we go. Knees float, two crawls, two back. Two out, two back. Knees float towards the floor. This with distance here, team. That's what's gonna get that extra quad. Ooh, extra core. I know. This is where it gets thick, all right? It's just we're trying hard. It's building. You got it, team. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Lateral long pulls. One heavy. Step side, pull it up. Same side. On your marks, get set. Here we go, lateral lunge. Pull it up, back, up. So, my palm ends in a neutral position, but by all means, you can just hold it center and go for that lateral lunge. Nice. Good. Elbow drives back on that pole. As soon as you get in, get back out. Nice, chunk it off this hill. 40 seconds at a time. Five seconds to go. And relax. I'll have you know, this workout was fully formed as I was doing my own hill climb last week. On your marks, get set, go. There was this one hill on the opposite side that I swear, it's one block, but it's broken up into three. So it's like, it's just one block. We'll make it up. Oh, took me four minutes to get up that steep, 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 wonderful hill climb. Ah. So if you feel that building in the low body, or your heart rate going up, take your time, do what works for you. The top of the mountain will come. Three, two, one. Set that down. So options here, squat roll to the toe, or burpee. On your marks, get that, here we go. So if you're doing that squat jump, stop landing. If you're hopping, or big toe. Or hands down, hop it back burpee. Twenty seconds to go, team. So many ways to get up the hill. Yeah, you can sprint up it. You can do a big, big step hike walk up it. Five seconds to go. Three. Two, one, rows, one heavy weight. You're going to a rack, row, squat, press, same side. Everyone start with me. On your marks, get set, go to a lunge. You can be here just rowing. If you want, pull it up to the rack position, drop into a squat and press, then continue. Notice how the feet pivot. Face one direction, face forward, press it up. Same side. Nice, low rack press. Use that low body. Breathe, five seconds to go. Finish out the side. Exercise number eight. Three, two, one. Other side. Okay, up to you. You're rowing in that lunge or pull it to that rack position. Here we go. Row, try that out. Front leg has most that weight. If you want, row it up, rack, palms face each other, elbow under midline, press it up. So, be mindful, not pressing from here. Tuck it under, yeah. That will get you more. And we all just love that little extra on top. Ten seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Chest press or travel push-ups. 
If you want, flip it over, two weights, press it on your back or follow me. On your knees or toes, everyone. Here we go, push up. One center, travel, travel, one side. Travel, travel. Travel, push up. And this, my friends, is the tenth exercise. So if you're chest pressing, you're on your back, narrow palms, push. This is our 10 of 22 exercises. And you might be like, I thought it was all legs. The travel element challenges our core. Yeah, so when you're running on a hill and you gotta step off an asymmetric load, like a travel push up, that core is being cha challenged. Relax, stay on the floor. Okay, this is our stability set coming up. Single leg bridge, everyone. On your marks, bridge it up. Same foot that is up has one heavy weight that pushes up. Here, press. It is a unilateral load. So, this leg is down, this leg is up, hold the bridge, and press. This is our asymmetric stability here. 20 seconds all doors. Yes, you can have two weights and press. Yeah, five seconds. Then we'll just do the other side. Three, two, relax, other side. So switch that heavy weight over or drop two to do it the first time. On your mark, get set, bridge it up, extend the leg and press it up. Second side, single leg, bridge forward. Press that full foot into the floor. And holding the single leg bridge might be enough, right? You could even do a little kickstand. Use your options, we're enjoying the view. We made it to the top of the mountain, and now this is our strength stability set. Ooh, man, we have different sides, don't we? Oh, yummy, yummy. Three, two, one. All right, team, inchworm down and up. Just like our warm up, you can pulse with no weight or inchworm it up. Meant to be a little more chill. On your marks, get set, here we go. So start in all fours position, walk it up, drop the hips, stand tall, then go right back down. Walk it out, inchworm. Walk it back in. If you want to add a push up to that, all fours, just know we have done those travel push ups and we will do them again. So you're inhaling or pulsing. We've started the decline. We're working on instability. Heart rate's probably a little lower. Legs might still be working. Relax. Stand tall. One leg up, we'll chop option. So, here we are. Pick one leg, get it off the floor, slightly lean forward, nice diagonal line with a light or medium weight. No rush here. It will challenge you to stay on top of your hips, right, as you lengthen. Push that foot into the floor. Nice, beautiful diagonal line. Leg heavier, medium weights on this. If you go heavy, it might be a shorter distance. If you go light, it could be quicker. Yeah. Three, two, one. Relax. Just the same thing on the other side. Shake that foot out. Woo, let it all go. All right. Here we are. And wood chop. Second side. So legit. I guess there's like three or four movements that I have my running clients train. And I know we're not all runners, but a lot of us, you know, walking up big stairs or doing long distance walks is kind of just in our life. This is one way to get your knees, hips, and ankles strong. What shot? Single leg. Oh, jeez. Three, two, one. Okay, go ahead, set. 
that weight down if you want. Let me show you what's next. Speed skate or weighted. That's why I said if you want. On your marks, get set. Here we go. So you're reaching back. I just want you to change directions. One side to the other. If you want, try to float that back foot off. Wide step. Instability. This one I really would love us to focus on. That one like balance. We had plenty of time to do big body cardio. This is our downhill instability. Almost rest and recovery set. Three, two, one. Plank to side plank. You can do an elbow plank hold the whole time or on your hand switch sides. On your mark, get set. Here we go. Everyone starting a plank. If you want, switch to the side plank. You can be on your elbows for this. Go back to plank. Other side. Relational movement from one side to the other. So good in life. Now we're just focusing in on it for five more seconds. Three more seconds, grab one heavy weight and relax, loop taps, holding it center, feet together. Everyone's joining the mini squat. Pick up one leg, the other leg has the weight, and now we're just tapping here. So sideways, looks like this. I'm in a low squat. I am hinging forward, chest is up, tap to the side. We are working just the squat and glute. Instability. Good team. Again, you're going for a little bit more arms today. A little salt and pepper you can add on. Reach that weight out. Same side, all 40 seconds. Three. Two, one. Take it out. Just enjoy this little change of pace here. All right, team. Other side. Feet together, squat, hinge. Now keep that weight in that standing foot. Tap, tap. Things I look out for here. Watch for the sassy hip. Yeah. Getting that glute knee. You might feel it here. Ooh, instability training. Or here, or foot. Now if you want salt and pepper, hold it out. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. All right, instability training. We got two more. 12 exercises in this downhill climb. Single leg deadlifts, down and up. So take one weight, and here we go. That same foot that has the weight goes back, pinching at the hip, come on up. Pinch two if you can, the hamstring stretch point. For most of us, that will be somewhere between hip height and a little further up, right? Probably not down here. You're stretching your back. Yes, there. Same leg, down and up. Ooh. Anyone feeling that burn? Yes. Three, two, one. Woo. Okay, other side. Downhill climbs. It's like you're working, but it's like a ghost phantom. It pops up on you. Other side, here we go. Single leg deadlift. Hinging at that hip. Hamstring stretch point. Beautiful team. 20 more seconds just like that. Beautiful controlled movement. Just loving all that balance and stability and core work as we hinge down and up. Five more seconds. Woo. Three, two, one. All right. Figure four squat. 
light, medium, or heavy. You're going to cross one foot over the other, and you're just going to squat it down and up. Same leg. Here we go. So you're getting that beautiful psoas stretch as you push the hips back. Yes, team. Chest up. Cross it over. Same leg. Turn it down and up the entire set. Just kind of hyper focusing on that unilateral training. Woo. Nice. Woo. Who knew? You don't have to be a runner to do a hill climb or a hiker. Three, two, one. Shake it out, other side. Now, if you found that that bugged your knee, you can always do an asymmetric squat instead, okay? Letting you know that for round two, or if you wanna try it that out on this side. On your marks, get set. Here we go, one more round. Hips back.
Yes, y'all. That core is working. Arms might be shaking. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds now. Three, two, and relax. Lateral, bon, hold. One side. Just move one side. Lateral. Ready, set. Here we go. Ah. Nice. Away from midline, back to center. 20 seconds to go. See how much you do in 10 seconds. Now you've got 10 seconds to go. Can you do four or five? Or what was that number? I like to break it down in 10 second chunks. And relax. Other side. Right? So one thing is, I am not a running lover. I do it then and again to get out of the house. Second side. But really, it's not like the thing I love to do. So, ways to make it into a game. When you go running, Try to give yourself a little carrot of a goal. So I try to count how many houses I can run in 30 seconds. Now can we count how many lateral lunges we can do in 10 seconds? Let's try that. On your marks, get set. 10 seconds to go. There you go. Ooh, relax. Just interesting. <laughs> Not really doing anything with that information, but interesting. Burpees or squat jumps. Here we go. Let's start applying that kind of fun game in all of these sets. So for the first 20 seconds, I want you to go at that pace that's challenging for you. At 20 seconds, I'm gonna ask you to count. On your marks, get set, go, count. Now last 10 seconds, can you do that number? Maybe. Oh, relax, shake it out. Row rep press. So even if you don't do the number, it's like how close you're being to being done, huh? On your marks, get set. So, so row. Start here. So now warm it up if you want. Row, wrap, press. Just warm it up for that 20 second mark. Coming up on that 20 seconds, let's count how many we can do in 10. Here we go. Last 10. So if you hit four, try to hit four again. And if you do, you're done. Oh, relax. Anyone finish before the buzzer? Ooh, if you did, step out of it. Take that break. Good for you. Ready, set, here we go. Start with the row. Lunge, line it up. If you want, row. Rack press, start to warm up. On your marks, 10 second count, get set. Go, count 10. Now last 10, try to hit what you counted. If you finish early, you're done. Whoa. Just enough time, relax. Woo. Travel push up. Side center side, or chest press. On your marks, warm it up.
stay strong. Big, beautiful press. Coming up on that count 10. On your marks, get set. Count it out. Side press travel. Last 10, team. Try to match it. Ooh. We run that hill faster. We get that extra break. Relax. It's power, legs done. Hello, instability. Bridge, single leg. Bridge, single leg. On your marks. Get set. No counting here. Just bridge it up. One leg. And if it feels good to you, same leg that's the standard. Press it up. Active recovery here. It might be a hold. It might be a kickstand. Nice flush hips. I want to feel that hamstring working on the side that the foot is grounded. Press it up. Relax. Woo! Other side. Check it out. We're at the top of the mountain. Just doing a little dance. Here we go. And we know that, that it's that diversity 
of movement and diversity of types of work, which makes us strong. Good, hinging up to get going down and up. Shout team, we will finish with our single leg deadlifts and then we'll be done. So we're gonna finish this leg and we'll switch it to the other leg in 10 seconds. Two, one. Oh, that just gives you a spicy glue. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Okay, finishing out on the second side. Anchor that rib cage down. Home stretch. Let's enjoy the stretch home. Here we go, 40 seconds. So we will not do that bigger core stretch because we did so much walk lunges today. We're going to end with that glute work and then stretch it out. 20 more seconds here. Glute work, in, get back up. And down and up. Glute work. Ten seconds. We're at five, three, and one. Stand tall. Woo! Take a second. Almost feels like an exercise in itself. One hand, one foot, stretch it out, stretch it out. So the work is done. We completed two laps of going up the hill and down the hill. But we know about hill runs. Oftentimes the run down is a little faster. So we didn't do all the exercises, but we got all the work. Okay, figure four. Just dabbling in it as a stretch. No weight here. Cross it over, figure four, stretch that performance. Hip flexor psoas. Other side. One hand, one foot. Getting a little bit taller. Let it all go. Cross it over, figure four. Lift that foot, sit back into the hip.